Hello, my name is Sarah Henderson and welcome to my discussion one, my first video discussion for PM691. We are going to be discussing time management today. So when we're considering time management, um, we're looking at the ability to coordinate, plan, and organize project activities in a mindful way. Um, you know, Project activities can also be considered your work packages when you're looking at your WBS, but basically we're going to take these activities and we're going to make a project schedule. Um, project activities are the an element in the project that consumes time. So each um, work package that you have takes a certain amount of time. So how do we organize these project activities? One of the main ways that we organize project activities is by using an activities on node concept in AON. Um, this uses rectangular boxes, very similar to your WBS, to represent each activity. It's going to give you a visual representation of the relationship between these activities. So um, there's three main relationships to consider here. Um, there's the prede predecessor activity, the successor activity, and the concurrent activity. If you look at the example from our book here, um, if you look at section A, um, there's A, B, and C different work packages, different activities, and A is um, preceded by nothing because there's nothing that happens before A, but B is then preceded by A and C is then preceded by B. Um, if we're looking at concurrent activities, that would be any activity that concurs at the same time, that occurs at the same time. So we're looking at section D here. Um, activity X and Y are occurring at the same time, and so are activity Z and double A. Um, and that, of course, there's a little bit of crossover with every um, activity that you do in your um, project timeline. Um, so we're basically looking at the relationship between these activities, and you can use this method to then create your project schedule, which gives you your time management for the project. These are my references, and if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out or reply to my discussion posts. Thank you guys.